Hello everyone, I'm Brian Sowers, and I'm going to be playing Love Light today. Love Light is a student project. A girl named Colleen is graduating from a game development program, and this was one of her final projects. So I told her that I would try it out, and I'm looking forward to it. I will include links to various stuff related to her below the video. Uh, she's a fantastic developer generally an awesome person. You should follow her and support her and adore her and generally appreciate her. So this is her game. Uh, it's the title screen. Super pink. That's cool. She tells me that the game might be depressing, so I'm hoping that this initial burst of cheeriness will offset some of that. Uh, I'm going to hit play and it'll jump into some of the cutscenes. I'm not going to narrate all of these for you. I encourage you to play the game yourself and do your reading, but the general gist is that a force called the Dark Crystal is making people sick. It's hurting people and turning them into these big gelatinous things with smiley face masks and pouty faces. And our goal here is to reassure them and make them feel better and help them reclaim some of their humanity. So I'm gonna do that. This is the first battle in the game. I've got four spells available to me, Assure, Selfie, Forgive, and Valid, and I'm just going to try Assure here first. And you'll see that when I do that, the opponent's morale gets knocked up a little bit. And we've got a little uplifting message here, it's easy to lose sight of the long term. Please don't forget that everything is going to be okay. So I'm going to hit next, and then I'll segue into the enemy, I guess for lack of a better term, my opponent using a little sickness type spell on me and knocking down my morale. So let's just try out some of these spells and see what they do here. I'll try selfie next, which gives me this nice little shield in front of me. And now when their opponent uses the sickness thing, my morale goes down a little less than it did before. Forgive is another way to knock up the opponent's morale. You can see that different things increase the morale by different amounts. I haven't quite worked out what is going on behind the scenes here, what increases the morale by how much. Um, but I'm just going to power through the rest of this encounter with the Assure spell. And we can see what happens after that. Eventually your spells stop working. I haven't quite determined why. I assume it's a gameplay mechanic to help me add a little variance into the spells I'm using. So we're going to try validating again. And I've made a new friend. This awesome little person with long blonde hair who plays guitar. I think I'd be friends with that person in real life. And so now if I hit next, I get these black and white cutscenes that are a little more serious than the endgame content. Uh, this first one is a woman longing for a relationship and another woman reassuring her and them going back and forth about that. Uh, it's one of the more serious aspects of the game. And so again, I'm not going to read these to you. I encourage you to just go ahead and play it yourself. Um, but if I go through that, I get this cutscene using in-game characters. And look at that! This character is giving me the middle finger. Or giving... The green vested dude, the middle finger, it's hard to tell which, but he looks super angry. And then middle finger gone, middle finger back, but confused middle finger, so that's, that's something. Uh, but this is kind of laying out the story about the dark crystal and our goal to find the pieces of the crystal of love uh, so we can restore things to normal. So now we've got this little in-game section. Uh, world map where you can run around using W and D and you can jump using the space bar and you're supposed to avoid these little stalagmites coming from the ground. I'll just show you what happens if you hit one. You quote unquote die and you get knocked back to the last place you made a friend. So jump past here. Ah, no, I want that gecko. Oh, I missed him. Hopefully that does not have bigger ramifications toward the game because I don't see a way to get... Actually, I'll just die and now I can get him. Spoiler alert, you give that gecko to somebody later 
I'm not entirely certain why, but I want that to happen. Also, I don't know that that's a gecko. I don't know animals. Little lizard thing. Uh, I just saw a Geico commercial, so that's probably what is influencing my opinion there. But here we've got another one of these big ooze guys that I'm going to encounter. And it's the same thing as the first encounter. It's exact same spells, exact same layout. So I'm going to assure him a couple times. And I'm going to try to juggle my spells so that my spell doesn't run out. And my surface just tipped over, so you'll have to forgive that. Uh, let's validate, and uh, everything crashed. That's unfortunate. That was probably the result of my surface being rubbish. <sighs> okay, so minor act break. Uh, my surface tipped over, and then all of my programs crashed. So I don't want to restart the video. So we're just going to pick up from that last encounter where I beat that ooze monster, and now I've made a new friend in a fancy purple shirt. Uh, when I go next through this, I don't get a little cutscene with that friend. I'm a little bit sad. I wanted to hear him be fancy. But now I've got a little save point here where I don't have to go through from the beginning. Whenever I die, I start back at where I made my last friend. So... Going through, dodging stalagmites, stalactites. I, I don't have a geography degree or geology, I guess would be the more appropriate degree. Should be a little bit more careful. That got a little closer than I'd like. Ah! Okay. New blob monster. I've really got to work on a better name for those. Blobby. Tom. Ecuador. I, none of these are really singing with me. Smiley. Smiles. I'm going to call him Smiles because of the mask that he wears on his head. So right now I'm just using a combination of a sure validate and forgive i fought these guys enough to know that i don't really need to use the selfie spell to push through them they seem pretty weak and oh i accidentally pressed a button there okay we made another friend purple shirted girl i'm gonna call her sally i like sally I come over here, and if I talk to this person, I give her the lizard gecko thing that I found earlier. I guess I just generally made her happy. So now I drop down here. And if I go this way, I see this crystal, where, or I see this part of the love crystal. I am going to guess, but I click, and I filled it up halfway, looks like, maybe a third. And now we go to another kind of depressing cutscene where it looks like Kimmy has just gotten out of a relationship. And then I start back and I'm in a new location. So it looks like that was the end of that level, me finding that piece of that crystal. And I've got a new friend! And she is warning me about this cave and telling me about her time on an airship. That sounds like fun. I'd like to take... Okay! Giant flame monster. He looks scary and now I've got some new mo spells here I've got some new spells and a little meter up in the top left I'm not sure what that's for but let's just go nuts here let's believe all right so I believed it bumped up his morale a little bit he hates everything and nothing is fair so let's try to assure him okay so this one's a little more tricky I'm knocking his morale up a little bit, but each spell that he uses is bringing it back down. Let's validate him a little bit, maybe. Still hates everything, and nothing is fair. I was, I was hoping he'd cheer up a little bit. This is all your fault. Well, that doesn't... I don't think I did anything wrong. Uh, Self-care. Self-care is how we heal ourselves a little bit. And I really like that visual effect that is going on. But still, everything is my fault. This villain does not really like me all that much. I don't understand. I'd really like to see what happens when this green meter fills up. Let's use selfie, try to protect ourselves a little bit. I'll probably have to use self-care in a second here. 
Yeah, let's do that. Self-care. Oh, I've got friendship. Okay, let's see what this does. And a giant ship called the Friendship comes in and blasts the guy with a heart cannonball. Cannon heart, heart cannon. I don't know. That was a really cool animation. All right, it knocked up the morale significantly. So hopefully I can push through and we will defeat this flame thing. I need a new name for him. Um, oh, I'm getting low. I should probably use self-care. Oh, that did not help as much as I was hoping. I might have to use that a couple times. All right, so the encounters are getting more challenging. They're actually requiring that I balance various factors. So probably bump up my self-care a fair bit here. Unfortunately, with every attack he does, his morale goes down a little. So the more time I spend on self-care, the more time I have to spend fighting back. And man, every attack he does is kind of undoing everything I do with the self-care. I think I might lose this. Uh, let's let's use selfie. Let's protect ourselves and then use self-care. That seems like a solid tactical decision. And my friendship's back, so maybe that'll just get me out of this increasingly tighter jam. Come on, come on. So close. But I, okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Going, taking it all the way. No more self-care. If I die, that's what's going to happen. I really, yes, made a new friend. That's giant green eyes. I, I like this. I like this person's freckles and their blue shirt. The art here is all really fantastic. And the game has gotten sufficiently challenging. I'm actually a little scared that I'm probably going to start dying soon. Well, besides that death, which was totally my fault. Go, 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 jump! Uh, nope. Okay, big blob monster. I can take this guy. <coughs> I've taken these guys before. They're nothing to me. It's a little dramatic. Oh, I just looked at my camera and realized my eyes are gigantic. Let me back away from this camera. Ah, uh, first time making a Let's Play video. These are just things you learn as you play the game and babble a lot. I actually took my glasses off to make this video because the glare was menacing but now that I see how big my eyes can get I think I need that protective lens to mask that from the general world. Alright so it looks like even the blob monsters get stronger as the game progresses. Uh, normally I was able to just power through these guys but this guy's fighting back. And he's super depressed. He just feels like a waste of space. What's the point to anything? Let's assure him. Oh, I got the friendship. All right, come on. Go ahead. Finish your attack. I want to shoot this cannon. Yeah. See, all these are friends that I've made so far. I don't know if that cannon gets more people in it as I go. Or if that's just the fixed animation. I, it, I'm assuming it's just the fixed animation. Oh, I like her. She's... She's fancy. Alright, so jumping through the scene. Oh, I fell a lot. I hope there wasn't anything important up there. Just Ah, okay. Gotta okay, I can get another shot at that long jump. Whoop whoop. Oh, okay. I'm really bad at this. I apologize. Jump. You can make it. Oh, a friend, okay. I didn't really care. Okay, this person... This person is worried about the internet and what happens if the Dark Crystal takes over. I would be worried about that. That seems like a legitimate fear. Ah, ah, no! Okay, we're gonna do it this... No, okay. Immediately regretted saying that. Alright, let's just... Let's just take it slow. Just chill. Oh, no, I should not. Okay. Whew. I thought that stalagmite was going to... Somebody in the comment section, even if you don't know or like me at all, I'd really appreciate if you just clarified the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite. I could Google it or Wikipedia it, but that feels so much like work. All right. We got big flame monster. I'm just going to kick it off with selfie because I want this guy to hurt me very slowly. 
And now I'm going to start combining my spells. Oh, that undid everything I did. All of my hard work. Friendship, cannon heart ball. I shot it at the flame monster. It's a new song. It's gonna be on my EP called Love Light Let's Play. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm super close to dying. Let's just do it. Yay, I made it. Oh, liking this character. Got some nice purple hair there. I I would try to be friends with this person in real life. I'd just cozy on up to them and be like, So, how you living? And then they would want to be friends with me. Because that's just how that goes. Alright, still pushing through. Ah, still my It's like tight. It's going to be a running gag, but not really because it's not that funny. Oh, I got another piece of the heart crystal. Oh, that, that was a super tiny piece. Okay, well if... We're going based off what I've seen so far. I've got one more heart crystal piece to find. I haven't seen this cutscene. I'm still going to fly through it. Uh, talking about self-care. I kind of miss the guy giving me the middle finger. I don't know. I, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to walk away. There's got to be another way to go. Nope. Looks like I'm going through this guy. Alright, let's do this, bro Heisen. Brohim. Alright, so I'm assuming given as that was a cool effect. I like that. I can appreciate purple lightning. So this character believes the whole world is falling apart. So close to the friendship cannon. Gonna shoot a heart at his face. Gonna turn him into my new bestie. Bye. Yep, new friend. That's cool. Flying through. Oh, okay. Let's just hope nothing was up there that I. Oh, yikes. Oh, I'm about to die. There was just no helping that. Alright, let's clear this gap. New friend! Never forget to practice honesty and faithfulness. Alright, let's fall down onto this platform. Let's not fall lower than that, because giant thing of spikes. Ah, ah! Okay. I kind of earned that one. I'm, I'm going to try to jump over this guy. Let's see. Let's take it slowly right around here. Okay. I don't know which way to go. Let's go left. Friend? Ah, so close. I was going to meet one of my friends there. We were going to get samosas, s'mores, mimosas, all of the above. I learned recently that time and space are irrelevant in friendships. These guys are all worried about this dark crystal thing. Oh, I love those sunglasses character is looking dope and I like the little icon on his shirt I don't know what it means but it looks cool it gives him a little flavor of little character 
And I keep running into spikes because I'm not very good at video games. And I walk the other way because I'm not very good with directions. I'm revealing a lot of my character flaws here. So do with that what you want, internet. All right, let's go right this time. Oh, flame monster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to walk around him. Well, that didn't work out. Okay, let's let's take a breath. Slow it down a little bit. Ah, okay. Let's fall down here. Not the right way. Okay, looks like we're going through the flame monster. I guess that makes sense. I'm digging this music. Selfie. Gonna take a picture of myself. And I'm gonna make this guy believe in something greater. He doesn't believe he needs me, but I'm going to assure him. Okay, it looks like if I don't hit a button... Nope, I'm just accidentally hitting buttons. Never mind. Ignore that, internet. Ignore that little gaff. Oh god, I'm hoping my boss isn't watching any of this. Friendship, friendship, I like to sing a song when it comes out Cause it has an impressive visual effect I basically turned this game into a giant dance party oh. It is what it is Alright, let's just, oh, uh, big giant slime monster, okay, here we go We got this Friendship. Now I just feel obligated to keep up with the trend of singing when this comes out. Oh, I never noticed that her outfit changes when the friendship comes out. That looks badass. Haven't I already made friends with this guy? i he seems pretty familiar. I okay. Possibly a color changed version of a different guy. Jump make okay. I jumped right into a new guy. Guy's kind of a downer. Alright, here we go. I am digging that pantsuit. I feel like it's a bold fashion choice. Ooh, love crystal! And that's the, that's the whole crystal. I have completed it. And something's happening. Uh, no, whoa, okay. 
Things got super dark. What? Plot twist? Uh, man, that character is spooky. I saw this character in the trailer, and she is just as spooky in real life, including all these little crying specters of me that are in the background. Man, this is... Whew. All right, we're going to try to overcome this. Looks like a character battling her self-doubts, maybe? I'll let you worry philosophically about how you want to interpret this game. Oh, she's using the attacks of other of other enemies, and I am going to lose this battle. Maybe that's intended? Maybe that is intentional? Or maybe I'm very bad, it's hard to say. Oh, okay. Are we getting saved? Oh, damn. We gone nuts. Self-love, beautiful, not alone, whole, self-care, and perfect. My spells have changed entirely, and my outfit is super decorated and wavy, and I don't... I don't think this little specter girl has a chance. I'm going to use self-love. We're not alone. Oh, man. Look at all these pictures, all these selfies that I took. You're beautiful. It's true. It's all your things. You know, I don't actually know the words to that song. Oh gosh, this character can't do anything to us. Wow, that's a very elaborate visual effect. I like what perfect has going on. That's the spell I used. That's the perfect spell. Oh, this character got nothing on me. No friendship, though. I really did want to shoot my cannon one last time. Alright. Well, it looks like... Alright, it looks like I have finished the game, and here is one of the fancy friends that I have made, or it's Colleen drawing herself, it's hard to say. Uh, anyway, cool stuff, and there's I'm really disappointed that he's not giving me the middle finger right now. That is Love Light, so if you have enjoyed watching me babble about it for the last 30 minutes or so, you should give it a try and actually read the cinematic cutscenes. They look like they were a combination of incredibly depressing and incredibly uplifting. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Have a lovely night.